Northeast Library has been a fixture in the community for 90 years. When patrons sign up for their library card, I always tell them, welcome to the coolest club in town. Hi, I'm Amy Steinbauer, and I'm the branch manager of the Northeast Neighborhood Library. The library was built in 1932. It serves both the Capitol Hill community where we have our sister branches, the Southeast Neighborhood Library. We have a lot of similar patrons, but here I think Northeast is, has that more like insular community in some ways. Northeast remains a little quieter, at least on the outside, as we are right between all the homes in our community. Our readers have such a wide range of interests and we love being able to provide not only books on what they enjoy, but also services and programming so that they are able to get something no matter what their interest level might be. Patrons love the historic feel of this library. It helps that we're in this old building. I think it makes people feel a little like homey and warm to come into an older space and know that there's still a new life there and still new explorations to do and things to discover. I came to this area in the beginning of 1980 and lived on Capitol Hill. I later bought a house near the Northeast Library in 1990 and started coming regularly to the library. I kid people when I say this, but it's with all honesty that I say the Northeast Library is my second living room. I come here to read periodicals, to check out books, to talk to the staff, to attend meetings and to work in the Friends of the Northeast Library. This is the living room for a lot of folks. And what is so nice is it is non-discriminatory in the true sense. It doesn't look at wealth. It doesn't look at race. It doesn't look at social or economic status. It is an open door for everyone. There are no barriers here. Everyone is welcome, and people know that, and they come. This library has and has always had a wonderful staff. It is folks who remember your name, remember what your interests are. I have walked in here and had a librarian say, we have a new book you might be interested in, that I usually am interested in, we love our community and we wanted to give them something during this difficult time. My staff are exceptional at creating engaging displays and feature all sorts of books and call out exciting themes that really capture what our community wants to read and we love being a part of that journey. I think to best engage with the library, go to the, your library. Don't go for a single book, walk around, see the children's area. Go look at the meeting area. Find out about what clubs meet there. Uh, I am a member of a cooking club in my uh, library. We meet once a month with a new cookbook and we try to make one dish. And it is a wonderful uh, group that get together. We have outside groups who use the library for community meetings and uh, they're open to anyone and everyone. We are excited to bring back some programming this month. My adult librarian is bringing a Smithsonian bird expert here on March 12th, and our beloved garden concerts will return with the local group Too Much Talent on March 13th. We will be restarting our outdoor programming for the little ones with a sensational play program and our outreach story time at the Union Market. We're also excited to offer two fun and engaging contests that you can do from home. We have a dog lookalike contest because we know that Northeast, we love our dogs in this community and we wanna see your best photos of you looking like your dog or vice versa. You can email us the photos and send them to us by March 12th. And then we also have a really exciting program for our photography interest friends where you can use your camera to take your best photo of the Northeast Library at any time you like and send them in to us and they are due on March 13th. This library is a great library. If you can come to any of them, you should come to this one because we truly embody a community love and interest here. This is a wonderful institution 
It's a little bit of a hidden gem because many people simply walk by the building and say, I don't need that, I have enough books at home. But there's much more. And if you have the internet, there is much more. There is the use of uh, numerous services. Uh, ancestry services. Would you like to know about your family? Use the library's resources. They can help you. Do you like old films? You can subscribe free of charge to Canopy, a wonderful film service. Do you want to just get old minutia about the library, about the town, or about any subject you want? Use the library's internet resources and it's there. Uh, what will this library be like in another 90 years? I don't know, but I hope it's here. I hope it is like, in some ways, like it is now. An open building, a wonderful staff, and a great resource. We are DC Public Library. Find your story.